Hi my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to record a little quick tutorial on how I do my brows. I have done videos like this in the past, but I don't remember when the last time I filmed a video like this was. So I have been getting a lot of questions at work. Um, how I do my brows, what do I use, how do I get my brows to look like they do. So I thought I'd just sit down, film a quick tutorial for you guys, letting you guys know how I do my brows, how I get them to look like this, what products I use, and all of that good stuff. Again, um, obviously this is what my brows came out to look like. So if you guys are interested in how I do my brows, what products I use, what brushes I use, and the little tips and tricks to get my brows to look like this, then you know what to do and just continue watching. Hi my beautiful people and welcome back. So obviously as you guys can see by my face, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how I do my eyebrows. I have done videos like this in the past, but I've recently been getting a lot of questions. How I do my brows, how I get my brows to look like the way that they do. So I thought I would just sit down, film a video for you guys, and let you guys know what I do and what brushes I use and what products I use to get my brow to look like this. So obviously I went ahead and I did one brow off of camera already. So now I'm going to go on to this eye, show you guys the little tips and tricks. So before I get started, my brows are not even whatsoever. Even when I do them, they look even when I'm like looking at myself in the mirror sometimes. And then I go and take a picture and they're like kind of off. Um, So that's why I always kind of angle my pictures. Like it just depends, I guess, of the way that you take your pictures. I don't ever take my pictures like face this way just because you can see like my eyebrows are really off. This one... um. I am missing like a little bit of hair on my arch. So that's why I kind of overdraw. I mean, I obviously I overdraw them already, as you guys can tell. And drawing in your eyebrows makes a huge difference. But um, on this one, I'm missing a little bit of hair. I do my eyebrows at home. I don't get them done. I get them done once in a while, mainly for like special events that I have going on with my family, like my birthday, or just when they're really bad and I really forgot to like clean them up. But other than that, I kind of just use either my tweezers or I use this little kind of navaja in spanish i don't know how you little knife i guess little razor you would say in english i did pick these up on amazon they come in a pack of three i'm not too sure how much i paid for them but that is pretty much how i like shape and groom my eyebrows and then i do have my little scissors so what i do is i kind of just when i do kind of get them done when i do them myself i kind of just brush the hair up like so and as you guys can see obviously i have no hair because i just did them i just put up i brush up the hair and then i go and I kind of just cut that hair off and then same thing I brush it down and so on and so forth so the three brushes that I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that I use on a day-to-day -day basis to do my eyebrows I'm always switching off with these brushes but you guys obviously don't have to pick this these exact brushes up but I'm just letting you guys know what works for me and what brushes I use so the first one is this morphe e29 brush so it's like the the dual brush so on one end it has obviously the brush as you guys can see it's not that thin but it's pretty thin and it's going to give you a really nice clean cut for your eyebrows on the other side it has a spoolie so i like it because obviously you can brush your eyebrows and you don't have to get just a separate spoolie and then obviously you have this side and you can start to do your eyebrows the next one that i have is another angled brush this one is just the angled brush as you guys can see this one's a little bit more thinner i feel like then this one let's go ahead and pair them next to each other so as you guys can see, it's a little bit thinner. Actually, the Morphe one looks a little bit thinner. Um, this one was my go-to like in the beginning. I constantly, I grab this one. I constantly, constantly use this one. The only reason why I like this one is because I feel like I can do my eyebrows quicker because the brush in size is like twice as what the pink one is. So as you guys can see, this one's a lot bigger and a lot longer. This one's a little bit shorter. So this one really gives me like the control of really getting into like a larger area. And then the last one that I use is obviously a synthetic brush. I'm going to try to find the brush that I used in the beginning, which was this one. It has glitter on it. But as you guys can see, it's more like larger as in width. But as you guys can see, it's not so precise and it's not so thin like I like it, especially for carving out your eyebrow. I was using this one for a while and then... I'm not sure what happened. I think I washed it one time and the brush is kind of, the bristles kind of just opened up. So it was like more like of a fluffy kind of synthetic brush. So then I picked this one up. Same thing is for Beach Cosmetics. So you guys can see how much of a defined line that is. And it's way more thin. And obviously you can just grab your finger and grab the brush and kind of do this. So that way you're able to get a nice clean cut. So now as far as what I use for my eyebrows, a lot of people think I use gel. A lot of people think I use pal. I'm sorry. Um, like the pencil 
but I actually use eyeshadow, and the eyeshadow that I use my go-to, I don't ever use anything else, is my Morphe palette. This was a 25A palette. So now that I did dye my hair, and my hair is pretty much like black, I don't still want to go in with black because they're going to look really funny. So I mainly go in with this one, and I sometimes I mix a little bit of this one if I have to. If I feel like I didn't grab enough of this color, I'll grab a little bit of the black. But for the meantime, I always use this dark brown. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the way that I do my eyebrows and what way works for me and what's the quickest for me. So first I'm going to start off with taking my spoolie. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and comb up my brow. I kind of comb it up to give me that arch and then I'll comb it down. So up and then down just like so. And then since this brow, I use this brush, I'm going to go ahead and use this brush. So again, I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to take... A little bit of that brown and then I always tap off my brush just in case I did grab a little bit of too much product I'm tapping it off so all the excess powder can come off so then what I do is I begin doing my eyebrows maybe right here like one fourth inch within like going into my brow so I leave this little piece out just because that's what gives it like that nice kind of like ombre effect so you can start in the beginning of the brow and just pretty much drag it within like the whole entire eyebrow but it's going to give it more like of a boxy look depending on how you go about doing the beginning of your eyebrow so that's why i prefer just starting a little bit maybe like about right here that way i can kind of feather in the front to give me that nice ombre effect so again i'm gonna outline the bottom right about there and i do have less hair right here so that's where i kind of overdraw not too much because i don't want to give myself like thick brows so as you, I, as you guys can see it looks a little bit light right there so that's when i go in with the black just a little bit and then back into that brown and you see how i'm not just dragging it i'm kind of like doing little strokes because i feel like if i were just to drag it completely i feel like i mess up a lot faster um and i wouldn't get it exactly where i need to so again Gonna take a little bit more of that black and the dark brown. And the reason why I have two different brushes because sometimes this brush works for me. I feel like this brush works when I have my base on because I feel like since I kind of set my entire face, I feel like the powder and this brush it kind of just glides on. Whereas when I don't have any makeup and I do my brows first, I always switch up doing my brows first and then my face and or my face and then my brows. So I'm always switching it up. But I feel like when I use this brush when I have no makeup on and I'm just beginning to do my brows, I feel like it doesn't give me a nice clean line like it did when I have when now that I have my face on. This one I can use it regardless because it is a little bit smaller, so it's really gonna get into er the areas that I need. So again, going back with this brush, I'm going to take a little bit more of that brown. And then same thing, I started about here for my arch. I'm actually going to start a little bit more back. And again, I'm going to be doing little strokes. And then with whatever product I have left, I do bring it into the inner, in the inner brow just a little bit. And I am dragging the product down to start to fill in my brows like that. Again, I took a little bit more of that black, and now I'm filling it in. Honestly, it's kind of just a preference of the way that you like your brows. But this is what works for me. So now I'm going to go back in with this one, just because I feel like I still need a little bit cleaner up here. So then what I like to do is I go back in with that first brush and I'm just going to lightly, without any product, just do the front, fill it in just like that. And then, since I did have a little bit of product left on this brush, I'm going to tilt the brush up and down. So it's going to be like this instead of sideways like this. I'm going to have it up and down. And that's when I start doing little like hair-like strokes. Just to give me more of like that ombre kind of eyebrow. Okay, and then now I'm going to go into my concealer. Which I use my Tarte Shape Tape. Any concealer would do. Obviously it has to be just a lighter one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take that. And I'm taking my synthetic brush. 
And then I begin to conceal. Again, I don't ever start in the beginning. So I start like where my arch is at. And then I drag it down. And then I get a little bit more. And then that's when I start to do the inner part. Again, like I said, it's really not that hard. But I think the tip that I do have before you even start to fill in your brows. Is to make sure they are like nicely groomed. Just because if you have really bushy eyebrows. Because if it's, it's happened to me when I have really bushy eyebrows, I find myself doing them thicker than what my actual brow is because I have a lot of hair. And it's easier to have them really nice and clean so that way when you go in and you use your powder and you start to do your brows, you kind of have a clean guide of where to start and where to end. So I think that's the number one rule before even starting your brows is making sure your brows, your brows are nice and clean. So this one, I always have a higher arch. I'm not sure why. I think this is, like, see when I'm lifting up my eyebrow, this is the first one that kind of goes higher. But now that, like, I'm looking at myself in the mirror, and they look even to me. Again, like I said in the beginning, my brows are not even. They're never even. When you look at me in person, they do look, look even, but the camera picks everything up. So that's why it looks a little bit uneven. But, I mean, I really don't mind. I really don't care. But that's pretty much how I do my brows. And you guys can see it looks more like of an ombre. So it looks a little bit more lighter within here. And then it gets darker. So then what I like to do is I just take a little fluffy brush. I put a little bit of translucent powder. And I just apply that right underneath my brow. Just so I can set the concealer. And it's not going to move throughout the day. I can go in and which I'll probably do just a little bit just so they can look. So what I like to do sometimes is I don't do this one so high or I'll do this one higher. That way when I do this one like normal, you see how it kind of took that off. It kind of, they kind of look the same, but okay, so that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and just do, finish everything off and then I will come back. Okay, so I went ahead and I finished off the rest of my face. The lashes that I'm wearing, again, are my Batty B lashes, but these are the style of, Oop, I should bleep that out, F boy. And then for my lip combo, I went ahead and I used my KKW Beauty Lip Liner. I want to say this is in the shade Nude 2. And then I applied the Huda Beauty Matte Lipstick in Staycation. And then on top of that, I know I did it like the opposite, but who cares. And then I applied the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the color Sand. And then on top, just to give me a little bit of gloss, I applied the KKW Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Radiant. Um, so obviously this is what the lip combo came out to look like. So that's pretty much it. Again, like I did mention, this was a little quick brow routine or my quick brow tutorial on how I do my brows on a day-to-day -day basis. Again, I did mention that I use three different br or three brushes. Depending on these, again, depending on how I'm feeling, depending on how I want my brows to come out, I'll use either this one or I'll, I'll use this one. But as you guys seen, I went ahead and I used this one and I just feel like it makes me do my brows a little bit faster just because of the size of the brush. Where this one's a little bit shorter so I do have to go in like a little bit more and I do have to work with it more just because I have to do like more strokes just because it's a little bit smaller. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope this video was really helpful. I hope you guys learned something for those of you that have been asking me how I do my brows or what products I use to get my brows to look like this. Again, like I did mention, my brows are nowhere near perfect. They're nowhere near the same. But this is what worked for me and this is what works for my face, shape, and all of that. So I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy. That's pretty much all I have to say. And I always leave my Instagram down below if you guys want to go ahead and follow me. On my Instagram, I post sometimes my makeup, um, but more like fashion and outfits and stuff like that. And that is pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys on the next one.